Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the world of cyber security by installing Parrot OS on Google Cloud Platform. Parrot OS is a popular Linux distribution known for its robust security features and using it on the cloud can enhance your cyber security capabilities. So basically this is a free course on Parrot OS Linux by TechLatest.net. So far we had covered a lot of things like Parrot OS course overview and objectives. Then we had covered uh, like what is the course content for this course. Then we had covered introduction to Parados. Next, basically, we will deep, deep dive into the introduction, overview, key features, and what are the target audience for the Parados Linux. Then we had covered setup installation of Parados on AWS Cloud, basically, the launch Parados on AWS, a step by step guide for deploying Parados on AWS EC2. Now, in this lecture, we will uh, talk about setup installation of Parados on Google Cloud Platform, basically GCP Cloud, like how you deploy Parados on G GCP, uh, like it is a quick guide for launching Parados on Google Cloud Platform. Uh, like there are various configuration option overview of customizable settings available during the installation process on GCP. So before we get started, make sure you have a Google Cloud Platform account set up. If you don't, uh, if you don't, don't worry. Google offers a numerous free tier, so you can follow along without breaking the bank. All right, let's jump into the Google Cloud Platform dashboard. Once you are logging in and uh, logged in, logged in, nav navigate to the com uh, compute engine. So by step process. So uh, like we first go on our browser and uh, after this, you can also check out check out our website. Here you can find out a lot of things like about the Parados links. So simply go on Par product and support page. Then here you can find about the Parados Linux. Uh, Offering here you can find the GCP deployment guide, AWS deployment guide, and Azure deployment guide. If you click on any deployment guide, then you can find about all the like step by step guide process. So simply we follow GCP deployment guide. So you can see that how to get Parados Linux on Google Cloud Platform. This section describes how to launch and connect to the Parados Linux in a Google uh, Google Compute uh, environment using the available cloud launcher offering. So here you can find the step by step guide. If you click on this open Par uh, Parados Linux machine, so you can find uh, Parados offering on Google Cloud Platform. Like here, you can find about the offering Parados Linux by TechLatest.net. So I've already, like here, you can see that I've already opened this product. So simply you can uh, find about the overview, pricing, documentation, support, and related products stuff here. Then uh, what we have to do next? Click on the launch button. After click on the launch button, this will take some time. Here you can see that uh, like uh, uh, like our OVM is uh, started deploying. So here you can see deployment name that is Parados Linux uh, demo, and then you can see see the uh, zone and uh, other things also. Then this is the machine type. Here you can see the series and uh, like boot disk. These all things. Then uh, here you can see that. Uh, uh, deploy options are there then click on deploy option so you can see that the massive deploying virtual machine is starting so here you can see that uh, Parados Linux demo is being deployed here you can find about the ID created on manifest config imports and there are a lot of things here also and here you can see that our VM is started deploying so what is the next step so after uh, completed these all the steps, uh, uh, like uh, a summary page displays where the compute engine is successfully deployed. Click on the instance link to instance link to go to the instance page. And uh, after this, uh, the next step is uh, on the instance page. Click on the SSH button. Select open in browser window. So uh, you can see that uh, it will take some time. So here is uh, see that, that our uh, VM is uh, deployed. So click on instance button, instance option. Then here you can find about the VM instance details, instance templates, and all the uh, all the details in the compute engine. So like here you can see that click on SSS option, then click on open in browser browser window option. Launch. And uh, here you can see that transferring SSH keys to the VM. So uh, like it will take one or two minutes to start. Then here you can see here you can see the status type is running. Now what is our next step? Simply you can run one command when your uh, uh, terminal is started. That is sudo docker ex e 
and then underscore it paradise b bash okay so let's go on here you can see that one terminal is also started then paste that command and then hit enter so yep like it is working now what is the next step if the above uh, for example if the above commands return error response from daemon error then run the below command to start the black hole container and then run above co command again so this is the command if you, the error is coming that is sudo docker start paradox then what is the next step that from a local window machine go to start menu in the search box and type select vnc if you, if you don't have vnc installed on your window machine first install the vnc we are as per your device okay so if you click on this link so here you can find about the vnc we are also so you can download according to your preference like which os you are using that is windows max linux raspberry pi so yep so i have already installed vnc on my on my laptop so what we have to do next and uh, so uh, copy the IP address from the uh, VM installs details page. Copy the IP address, then paste in the internal server address or search in VNC. Enter. Okay, here you can see that uh, the connection is will not be encrypted. Click on continue. So you can see that our paradox is like started and uh, it is like working also. So if you click on application option, so here you can find about a lot of things and tools. Then here you can find about the trash options, file options, home options, reading options. Here you can find about the some tools already. File manager, minimize option window, terminal options, browser option, then uh, application finder and the root option. So what is our next step? Uh, let's see what is our next step. So if uh, to connect using Ramina, if you are a Linux user, you can also connect with it Ramina. Uh, same, you can copy the external IP of the VM from the VM details page and uh, uh, paste in uh, search about the Ramina on Linux. Then paste it in uh, Ramina, that is Ramina remote desktop client, which if you are a like, Linux user, then you use Ramina. Then now, like you are connect to out of the box environment via Linux machine for Paradox. After you first login open terminal, run the below command to the change the boot user password. So this is the command. So you can also uh, do this with the uh, main terminal, and uh, you can like uh, from this step you can change the password. Then yep, that's all about this video. And uh, like I I hope you guys love the course and this video we will meet in next next video